Hello Sagittarius and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading for August 2023 for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So let's see what we have for you. Message for Sagittarius for the month of August. And these are mainly messages. So whatever messages come out, that's what I say. Okay, we have serenity. The most important relationship you can have is with yourself. This is a time to honour, nurture and love yourself more by seeking out and removing any negative feelings and emotions that are left over from yesterday. Do not let past issues and resentments interfere with your serenity today. This is about keeping your center, staying centered, which Sagittarians do very well, actually. Let's see what we have. What do we have for Sagittarius for the month of August? I'm going to pull you a spirit animal oracle card. What do we have for a lovely Sagittarians? Thank you. There's is that one? I think it's one card. Okay. We have Cardinal. The polarities of your spiritual pursuits and physical pleasures are out of balance. So do whatever is necessary to bring them back into equilibrium. Yeah, I feel that you're being told you need to stay centered. Keep your sense, keep your centeredness within yourself. This month, it might well be whatever's going on in your external environment. This is about staying centered within you. Keeping your head, keeping that energy centered, connecting to your core in some way. Okay, this is the, I think it's the like animal archangel cards. Let's see what we have for Sagittarius. Pull you an archangel message. What do we have for Sagittarius? We have Donkey. Keep your heart open no matter what. Archangels Mary and Gabriel. And I'm going to pull you a destiny message. What do we have for Sagittarius? Thank you. Angel, spirits, guides, message for Sagittarius for the month of August. Thank you, that flew out. We have forgiveness. I'm going to read that out to you. So we have sunset glow. It is human to want to hold on to the past, our memories, experience and relationship, experiences and relationships. However, there can be times when we are carrying so much of the past that we can't fully see the present. The past doesn't need to equal the future. Just because you had a pattern or a recurring challenge in the past doesn't mean that it needs to recur in the future. The key is to be willing and ready to simply and cleanly let go of the hold that the past has on you. The past is gone and it's okay to let it go. The way to do this is to fully immerse yourself in the here and now. Be super aware of the sights, sounds, smells, textures and energy of your present. When you do this, the past simply vanishes and the glory of the present emerges. Okay, Sagittarius, let's see what we have for you. Message for our lovely Sagittarians. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Sagittarius.
we have the Hermit. We have the Two of Cups. The Lovers. And I love, you know, I was feeling this with that kind of energy of serenity. We have the Temperance energy, which is actually the card of Sagittarius. So Sagittarius, Temperance is, can be that sense of bringing things back into uh, balance in some way, uh, slowly but surely. It can be linked with things like reconciliation, um, finding some kind of common ground to heal. But there's also a kind of uh, truth about this. Again, this sense of with the Serenity card being centred and again, this sense of being in your truth here in terms of how you truly want to move forward with a scenario. So I feel that there, this can be quite a moderate energy, not rushing into any direction whatsoever. But there's a strong sense of things being brought back into balance in some way for you here could be through forgiveness healing embracing healing with the hermit the hermit can be when we soul search when we shine the light on the path that's already gone we look at what's led to this point and we find that sense of illumination through experience of how we need to move forward here. Sometimes it requires a bit of alone time, having a little bit of space, taking a little bit of time out. Again, do whatever is necessary to bring this sense of bringing things back into equilibrium. And we have the Two of Cups. Two of Cups, and actually it's not really dissimilar to the Lovers, though the Two of Cups can be my bond between two people. It can be a soul connection, love romance. I mean, likely with the lovers next to it, this can be about a relationship or a significant partnership. It could even be, again, if it wasn't love romance, this could be partnerships of other kinds. Um, an important connection to you. could even be a business connection, you know, a business partnership of some kind as well. Either way, I feel that forgiveness is asked and there is that sense of trying to shine your light in terms of whether to see if there, if your heart is open to reconciliation with this person and forgiveness. I feel the cards are saying, don't make a decision until you find that sense of centeredness. So there's a moderate energy here. Uh, and even take a little bit of time out for yourself to really do some reflection. You know, uh, and the lovers can actually be a choice about a relationship. It can actually be to do with whether you get back with somebody or, you know, about somebody who is in your current atmosphere as well. It's generally quite a powerful union, the lovers, two people who fit together like pieces of a jigsaw. But there's a choice here. They're at some kind of crossroads and it's a de decision in terms of how you move forward. Now, the other thing that I, I want to say with these cards here, Sagittarius as well, the Hermit, there could well be some kind of um, choice or decision, and the Hermit can actually be linked with healing in other areas. Um, the Hermit can actually link with uh, raising your vibration from within, that sense of bringing that sense of health and healing and recovery back to a situation. It can actually be linked with seeing a, a healer of some kind as well. So there may well be, again, if this wasn't about the relationship as well, the other the cards do mean, given that they're general energies, the cards can mean some kind of choice or decision to see somebody. And again, the forgiveness can be, I'm sorry I didn't act on this sooner. I'm sorry I didn't tell you about this. I mean, this can be the energy here too. But there's a great sign here that you're doing what you need to do and there's an opportunity to bring things back into balance. So it might well be, if this wasn't about the relationship itself, it could actually be health areas um, is what I'm seeing here. 
All right, I'm going to pull you I'm going to pull you a little angel message. What do we have for Sagittarius, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely Sagittarians. We have, you are a true being of the universe. Your beauty radiates from within. <laughs> Again, radiating from within is the hermit energy. So it fits in beautifully with this reading. It's about shining the lamp and you find real illumination. It's finding answers, wisdom, guidance here. Uh, the hermit can actually also be, additional to that here, uh, Sagittarius, the other meaning with a hermit, it can actually represent talking to a sage or getting sage counsel um, from an actual sage, you know, from a wise person. Either way, it looks like you're going to be shown the way. What do we have for Sagittarius, please? Thank you. We have 888. An abundance of creativity, wealth, gifts and blessings are in a state of infinite flow toward you. Use your natural gifts to bring your ideas to life. An abundance can be when we don't feel that sense of lack, you know. Um... It feels like you're finding answers in some way to get to see if something can be brought back in track and it does look like it's available to you. That number might resonate with you, 888 as well. All right, what do we have for Sagittarius, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for Sagittarius. I also want to say, these might be the messages that you need to hear. I mean, I'm talking about particular messages that I'm getting with the cards. But like I said, these energies can actually be linked with things that you might need to hear this month. So what do we have for Sagittarius? I'm going to finish off by pulling you a final message from heaven. Again, whatever heaven means to you. Your intuition is strong. We are reaching out to help. Bottom of the deck. Try not to worry. We will bring helpful people into your life. Number 19. That was number 7. That's what I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful month. I will see you next time.